G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back for the weekly free instant tournament. This is an 8-board BBO tournament that you can play by going Solitaire Bridge, then weekly free. So give it a shot if you haven't already. Um, I'm coming to you live from Canberra, so I'll be up here for two weeks. But uh, I've already played the first board, but then my computer just crashed, so uh, that stopped it. But uh, a likely story I know, because I started with 0%. <laughs> um, basically, I chose to bid two clubs, Michael's. My plan was like, I probably want to play in spades anyway, but I can leave the option up to my partner. And then after I did that and my partner bid three hearts, I could never actually bid spades. So I doubled showing good spades and then wanted to comp continue with uh, four hearts because I thought we'd play came. When we got doubled, I looked at bidding four spades again and that still showed a Q bid, which I think is just ridiculous. But everyone was sort of just bidding one spade, which I think is another reasonable option, but... Uh, if I knew I could never bid my spades if I started with Michaels, I'd go that way. Uh, but I feel like you should be able to Michaels and then just say, hey, we're playing in spades, because sometimes your partner has really well-fitting cards. And you might be able to find slams, or you find a really big heart fit, various things, but that didn't work out today. Anyway, uh, let's move on to board number two. So here we have a 2, 3, 3, 5, 14 count. So I've got add one point for my length point, so I open one no trump. Two clubs, single suited, transfer, so two spades. Four clubs, splinter, a oh, fantastic news, partner. <laughs> my hand is about as bad as it can be. And I still have to work out what suit my uh, left hand opponent has, which it appears is probably hearts. Anyway, uh, we have some spade losers, no heart lo well, one heart loser, one diamond loser. I can ditch the heart on the top club and then take a spade finesse. My partner has 12 points up to my 14, so 26, that's 14 missing, so West probably has most of those. Uh, but let's start with that and then just ditching this heart straight away. And we'll start with a spade up. Okay, and I don't think the diamond finesse is going to work, and I don't want it to lose and then play a heart. West could have seven hearts, which would mean they might be able to get a trump promotion. Taking the diamond finesse here is only good if East has it, and it is within the realm of possibility, but I feel like some bad things can happen, so just doing that straight away, just in case West had seven hearts, or uh, East had a shortage and could uh, get a trick somewhere. Okay, so that was on side, as I mentioned, within the realm of possibility, and nothing bad would have happened. Wow, I got 85% for not taking a fin diamond finesse. No one made 13 tricks. Really? Like, we are cold for 13, we just... Oh no, we, we still have that diamond loser. <laughs> Head's not even working properly. So even if the diamond finesse works, because East has such a length, I can't get rid of it. So, yeah, another good point. I didn't mention it that. So I have to get my head working. But 85% uh, for just bidding that game. Uh, it feels like it should be bid anyway. One club, two spades. That natural forcing. Are people actually passing that? Why are so many people passing that? Anyway, um... Back up to 42%, so that's going pretty well. And now on to board number three. So here we've got 17 points, balanced hand, five card suit. So I'm going to upgrade this to 18, 19, open one diamond, and to then rebid two no trumps. Not worried about my two little spades here. My partner's got both majors, so three no trump. And precisely four four, so I don't need to show my three card hearts. They, if they had a fifth heart, they could have had found out a different way. Anyway, my partner's got six points opposite my 17, so we've got 23 highs, we've got three hearts, a club, a spade, and a diamond. So we've got six tricks. Looks like I want to work on some diamonds. And we've got some dangers here. If hearts break 3-3, three, three, then I can get one extra trick, but I still need to work on diamonds. Um... I could hope diamonds are 3-3 three, three with the uh, king on side, and then we only lose one. 
I can also play diamond towards the nine, hoping for jack 10x diamond on side, and then finesse to the queen. Uh, I could duck clubs, but then uh, if I do that, like let's say I duck a club, they can just switch to a spade, which is bad for me. Uh, clubs are four three. If I duck this, I'm like legitimately without play. So, uh, thinking Ace of Hearts, King of Hearts, Hearts the Queen. Uh, then I, if Hearts don't break, I have some more difficulties. So if that's the case, I'm thinking just blocking hearts and playing a heart to the queen diamond up at this stage. Or I could give up on jack 10x diamond with east and uh, just cash the ace of diamonds, cross over leader, diamond up. Um, no, let's just play a heart over and diamond up towards the nine. Okay, they're going to cash clubs, and I have to put all my eggs in a basket here. Uh, so at this stage, ooh, diamond discard from east, that's ominous. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, uh, so we've got the rest of the tricks. 100%. Okay, east had king, jack, fourth, diamond, and they discarded a diamond there, which... Gave me the rest of the tricks. That was a terrible discard from them. But I guess they were looking at Queen Jack X Spade, and I didn't want to discard from that um, when they think I've got 18, 19 points, and their partner's shown up with three, so I think they placed their partner with the Queen of Diamonds and me with the King of Spades. But anyway, three no trumps making. It was a pushy contract. Happy to be there at teams. Match points, I was probably... Like, it's a bit too optimistic. My partner's only got six points, but 100% uh, running at 61. It is a difficult discard for East there. And here we've got a 2 2 5 4 15 count, so semi balanced. And again, I'll treat this as no trumps. Double both majors, three no trumps. Okay. King of Hearts lead is not scary at all. <clears throat> uh, we have five diamond tricks. I can even pick up four nil diamonds with East. A club, a heart, and a spade. So that's eight tricks. I need to get more. Uh, the spade finesse is probably offside, and East probably has really good clubs. I could win the Ace of Hearts and just play another heart. They have to find uh, what they want to do. Um, they have to switch to a club, and then East has to push a spade through. I could rattle off all my diamonds, but that'll kill the communication. I was thinking about ducking that first one, just to see if they uh, have some... like have to find the switch. Okay. <clears throat> ah, that's on side. Okay, so at this stage I ruined my entries to pick up four nil diamonds. I I guess my entries were always kind of a bit shot there. Uh, maybe they are okay if I ducked the first heart and they switch, then I can play a diamond to the ace. Uh, so if that's the case, uh, okay, good news. Um, okay, looks like diamonds are 2-2. Two, two. Ten of hearts, get rid of a club. I haven't seen the seven of hearts, unless, like I might have had the seven of hearts in my hand. Um, okay, that heart's all good. I had the seven of hearts, or... Yeah. Should have paid more attention to that. 92%. Feeling a bit sloppy at the moment. 
three no plus two. Some people just making three no or plus one. Some people just getting to two diamonds. Rebidding one no trump is a drastic underbid. Well, not drastic. You, 15 points. If you're going to show this as balanced, you may as well do it the first time. So that's why I like the one no trump opening. Um, because like, if you open one diamond, rebidding one no trump lies about your point range. And I see this all the time. The people are like, oh, but I've got hearts covered from my partner now. But you've just lied about your points, which you don't want to do. Like, I only worry about suits my opponents tell me to worry about. They told me about hearts uh, later, but my partner just bid three no, so I trusted them. So five four two twos with a five card minor. Very happy to open one no trump on those. Anyway, in rank two with 69% after running at zero for the first board. Five three one four twelve count. So one spade, two clubs, Drury. Um, I've got an okay hand, so I'll just make an invite. Two diamonds here it says nothing about diamonds. It's just that it's invitational. My partner said, sure. All right, well, let's try bidding this. Maybe a bit pushy, but uh, I probably should have stopped to try and visualize what hand I want my partner to have. But that is a hand I want my partner to have. <laughs> nothing in diamonds, five-card heart suit. So uh, here we have... One diamond loser, bunch of club losers, no hearts, and it looks like no spades. I want them to cover with the queen, so lead that, and okay, so spades are all good. Uh, if hearts are 4-1, there's not much I can do about it, I can't get to those hearts anyway. But, so, no chance of, like, testing hearts to see if they break and then getting back there. We'll just uh, cover that. Heart discard there, very nice. So it looks like the hearts are running. Yeah, so hearts are all good, so I'll get to discard a diamond and a club. And I'll probably lose three club tricks, but I might be able to get away with it. One club discard. Okay, uh, so I just want to hope for a doubleton king of clubs, so just low club here. Uh, not the case. And making 10 tricks, 85%. Lots of people only bidding two spades here. Um, like I've got a decent hand. I, I really wanted to be able to say, partner, I've got a singleton diamond. What do you think about that? And that would say, fantastic. So maybe I could have looked at bidding three diamonds over that. I'm not sure if that is a suit or a splinter. A um, couple of people making 11 tricks. They bid clubs along the way. And that looks to be a suit. Another decent option. And they set up the diamond, at, like they cashed the diamonds wrong. So now they got to discard three clubs. Anyway, uh, moving on to board number six. Three, one, four, five, twelve count. All the aces loving this hand. Uh, one heart double just showing four spades. Two clubs, good support. Double says rebittable clubs. I don't have that, so I'll just pass and probably make a takeout double here. Two plus hearts. So this is a penalty double, I guess. In which case, I don't want to make that. Let's just try playing in a 4-3 fit. Alright. Um, three clubs looks like a naturalist club suit. Okay, spades are... Okay, so that dummy is pretty garbage for them. Spades are 4 triple 3 West has probably five hearts, four clubs. Um... Do I want to attack spades or try and give my partner a club off? Like West might have, if West has five clubs, giving my partner a singleton, then uh, they've got a void diamond, and I don't think I'm in a rush. Uh, so that didn't work. I 
My partner's not even trumping in. Okay, there goes my spade trick. Oh wow, wait. My partner didn't trump in that winner at all. So they, their spades just vanished. So my partner must have good hearts. Uh, West is a four clubs, one diamond. Uh, guess I want to draw their trumps now. Still got my spade, good news. And my partner really had garbage spades. Plus 100, 78%. That did not feel good. I'm not content with how I've been playing this. I feel like I've been pretty sloppy. Uh, my partner didn't trump in at all because they had natural heart winners, which makes some sense. Uh, but, yeah, not selling out to two hearts was good. I think I got away with that one. One person doubled for the 100%. I think that's actually a reasonable choice, but I think my partner should strongly consider doubling with ace, queen, jack, fourth heart. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, that was board six. Two to play. Moving on to board number seven, flat 15 count. One no trump, and we buy it there. Okay, uh, diamond lead, fantastic news for me. We've got three aces, two diamonds, a third diamond, so we've got six tricks. We need to find more. Spades look like a promising place to play them. Seven of diamonds lead, and that got ducked. I'm not sure if West has led from length or from shortage there. I was really hoping to see East put up the queen, because that would give me more entries to the, my partner's hand. Uh, so I can't really play on spades, but they might attack spades themselves. I think working on hearts is a decent choice. If hearts are 3-3, three, three, I'm okay. Okay, yeah, I just finessed the ten of hearts there and it knocked out the queen, so I can set up that uh, jack most likely. I don't want to put the jack of diamonds in here because that will block the diamond suit if West does show up with uh, length and diamonds. So win that and I could go ace of hearts, nine of hearts, or I could... Uh, just set up my spades. Looks like East doesn't have the top spade, so maybe setting them up is a decent choice. But I might have time to do that later. So, And it only sets up one spade, this sets up one heart. Okay, that worked well. So West has King, Queen of Spades. King of Hearts. Have they led from three little diamonds and led low from three little? They played low nine eight. So they had nine eight seven of diamonds. East had uh, potentially queen fourth, queen third. Sorry, and if that's the case, I don't think they'd put the six on it. So I think I should finesse here. Um, Against human players, you'd know for certain what to do. Uh, so punished. If I saw, if I hadn't seen the uh, nine there, then it would have been okay. Um, yeah, thirty-two percent. So I was going well, and it felt like that misplayed it. So I was thinking about putting the ace of diamonds up there just for some security. If that was the case, I would have got. My Ace of Diamonds, my Jack of Diamonds, and my Jack of Hearts. So I would have got 100% if I picked the Diamonds. But it really comes down to knowing their leads. And the 7 was consistent with 4th highest. And it's hard to, like, how can East know to duck that? Like, their partner could be leading away from the King, but I guess they worked out that they weren't. And I hadn't seen enough points from West player to know that it wasn't. So a tricky one to choose there. 
if East had like if West didn't show up with nine eight seven of diamonds, then I think it would be safer to play East to have ducked like if you've got Queen nine third putting in the nine or something would be sensible. But just ducking it outright seemed a bit bit much. Anyway, moving on to the final board. We're still in rank two. One diamond from my partner and a balanced hand again. We'll start with one spade. Two spades. I was thinking of offering three no trumps here. Um, no, we don't necessarily have uh, hearts stopped. Uh, but the opponents haven't bid it, and my partner can still correct to four spades. Four hearts. Cubid. Seems optimistic when... Oh, I've got 14 to 21 points. Feels like 3 no can be passed, so I'm surprised that it's a cubid. Anyway, uh, off the top we have one diamond and two clubs to lose. It looks like 3 no trumps probably would have been a good spot. Um, I, I don't mind my partner correcting, though. I've got two little clubs. Seems fine that we might get extra potential there. Uh, so I can ditch a heart on the third diamond. My two little clubs, I want to lead up to my queen, jack, nine of clubs. Maybe potentially trump one. If diamond spades are four one, I might have some issues there. Not in any rush to take my discard though. So ace of spades and we'll go to the king of spades. Okay, they're three two, so... Here I can ditch one. I want to lead up to my clubs twice. Hopefully East has one of the ace or king. If that's the case, I'll set up my club winner and then just trump one. So we'll cross over to the jack of spades. Now ditch the heart. Uh, so at this stage I can only discard two clubs at best. So they're still going to get one trick. So just making. So 50%, everyone was doing the same. So a really flat one to finish off. So finished in rank 2 with 65%. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, weekly free instant tournament. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.